Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of budget. This is a part of personal financial literacy, which is standard 5.10e in the great state of Texas. We are using item number 27 off the 2021 released STAR test. And if you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So Spencer needs to balance his April budget. We see Spencer's budget right here. And then what can he do so his, balance, his budget is balanced? So we see that term balance or balanced twice. So let's just make sure we get a clear picture of what we're talking about. Well, when we're dealing with our budget, in order to have a balanced budget, we've got two things that need to match income so that's how we're earning money and then expenses that's how we're spending money so this is money in and this is money out now it's typically okay to have an imbalanced budget as long as it balances towards this income in right you you can earn more money than then you spend and that's fine you can just put that into savings the problem comes when it becomes too heavy on this expenses side um, because then you're spending more money than you're bringing in and you're probably using credit cards to make up the difference and that's not good so let's look at his budget he gets an allowance of forty dollars so maybe ten bucks a week and he's got an after school job that's pretty good so let's see how much money he's got He's got 70 bucks. There we go. Quick, simple addition. So he's got an income of $70 for April. Now, you notice how he's got things on two different sides. That's a great way to make a budget is kind of separate them into your income and into your expenses. So this is our money in. Let's see what our money out is looking like here. So cell phone 15, piano lessons 25, entertainment 30, savings 10. Seems pretty good, but let's see what the problem is here. That's 10. Just going to add these up. That's 1, 2, 4, 7, 8. Aha! So there's my imbalanced budget. His budget right now is looking a little bit like this. Because he's got his 70 dollars for income he's got his eighty dollars for expenses and his expenses is definitely greater than his income so the question is and this particular standard simply asks what can you do to balance an imbalanced budget all right so let's see what some of our options are here increase his savings this month by 10 so increase means to get bigger it already is 10, so increase it by 10. That would make this 20. Well, if we raise that to 20, that would make your expenses up to 90. So that would make it more imbalanced. Increasing savings is typically uh, always a good idea, but no, we, we don't necessarily need that. That's going to make it too far out of whack. Increase his allowance by $5. Well, that's not his choice. Um, probably that's set up by his parents. But if we were to do that, that'd be 45 That would get you up to 75 Even if we came back to this $80 that we had originally, that 75 still wouldn't be enough to hit that. It'd be closer. So increasing his allowance and increasing his savings is not going to work. Decreasing his piano lessons by five bucks all right so let's get back to our we had 70 bucks here piano lessons was 25 so if we bring that down to 20 now our 80 dollars comes down to 75 dollars and so the original income was 70 down to 75 that's not going to work so d increases decreases entertainment by 10 there we go take that out by 10 and that gets you down to $70, and that's what his income is. So the answer is D, 